Hi everyone, we are back in Leamington, Ontario at the site of the first residentially permitted 3D printed structure in all of Canada. When we left here in early June, it was just walls. It was the first 3D printed structure. It was Nidus 3D's first project ever. And over the summer, they have done this incredible job at finishing it. You can see the roof and windows and everything there. And in a little while, we're going to take you inside and do the big unveil of this Canadian and North American first. But right now, we're headed over to the Bridge Youth Resource Centre where they're going to give a presentation and tell us a little bit about the journey that it took to get this building out of the ground. These are the first 3D printed homes for residential use in Canada. This project is a, a you know, benefited from innovative partnerships and innovative construction methods that will help us find more efficient, scalable and sustainable ways of providing housing for those who need it most. More than investment by all levels of government, we will need partnership to solve this crisis. And more than investment and partnership, we will require creative thinking and innovation. Hello. Woo. So all of the furniture has been donated by government. No! So get to keep it. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> like even the texture on the wall, yeah, it looks we came up to Kingston to see yeah. your team in action. Yeah. And that was the day I knew that we could do this. Yeah. I, that was the day that I was like, this is gonna work. We were thrilled to be part of this and, and your phone call changed the direction of our company. So we're, we're incredibly thankful for that opportunity, but it's everyone else as well who collectively pushed this forward that and which is how we're here. So we wrapped up here in the spring and there's a whole bunch of folks who stepped in and did incredible work to turn our printed structure into a finished house ready for people to move in. One of those folks is Bruno. He's with the University of Windsor. He's been instrumental in this process. So Bruno, why don't you tell us a little bit about everything that's been done since we left. Well, the finishing work here took a lot of uh, like attention to detail and, and thinking through this different technology, but in the end, uh, everybody that sees it We'll see that it, it, it's worth for sure. You're figuring out how to do stuff interacting with 3D printed material that's never been done before. This is the first one in Canada. We we had to attach some some top cones uh, all the way across the baseboards and then uh, come with a stained pine and and give this nice rustic touch to it. So Marcos was one of the students who was working with the University of Windsor on demonstrating the, the strength and the viability of printed concrete to perform in, in Canada and Canadian climates. And Marcos, you want to tell us a little bit about the work you did to get this off the ground? Uh, this project is to get results from structural behavior, uh, thermal capacity, water penetration capacity of the, those elements uh, done by this, this technology. We met Marcos on this project and I'm so thrilled to tell everyone that Marcos is coming on board with Nidus 3D. He's moving to Kingston, I think this week. Yeah. <laughs> very, very soon. So the truck is packed, he's ready. And he's going to come on board and head our, head our engineering department so that the lessons that we learned on this project can be applied to all of the future Nidus 3D projects going ahead. Super excited. I think we better go inside and take a look. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right? Here you go. Oh my God. Bruno, this looks incredible. Like, look at this, look at the trim. That's stunning. As you see the kitchen, the living room. I wouldn't even say it's a tiny excellent. home. It's more like a one bedroom like, like apartment. A, yeah. yeah. You've knocked off a lot of the kind of burrs, so it's not gonna hold a lot of dust. It's gonna mm. be a lot easier to clean. Man, I think it's fantastic it's, what you've done with this. This building is supposed to be net zero ready, so we have this feature of being as airtight as possible. Waterproof, it's everything that you would and want the building to be. Instead of the common spray foam, what we used was pour in place foam, which is a little bit of a, more of a liquid solution. It expands with the, with the time, and then you go and pass the same way as you go with the printer. Let's take a little peek at the bedroom, a full double bed in here. And again, we have that beautiful printed texture all around us. Over here we have this uh, rounded corner that was 3D printed as well. So 3D printed on a polymer printer? Yeah, yeah. wood filament actually. With wood filament? Yeah, so they're so actually wood maintaining it all the way around? Yeah, it's, uh, oh, it can wow, be stained, that's... it can be painted. I'm so impressed, it's just, I, I'm blown away Bruno. So yeah, lastly, let's take a little peek at the bathroom. And one of the really cool things about the design was the concentration of the electrical and the mechanical. 
The kitchens and the bathrooms are all concentrated at the center of this building, which makes it more cost effective to provide all of those services to four units than it would if we were doing them in kind of four separate places. That's right. We're going to install our grab bars here, uh, and this is going to be universally accessible. All right, folks, that's the tour. I can't stress enough how excited I am to be here and how blown away I am by this structure and everything that they have done. When we left this place, it was a construction zone. We had a huge printer up still. There was concrete everywhere. There was backhoes. And to come back and see it like this, it's frankly inspiring. And it's exactly why we're doing what we are trying to do at NIDUS and, and pushing the boundaries of technology and construction. The beauty that surrounds us is incredible, but it's also extremely functional. They fit so much in a small space. It's net zero ready. It's going to be an extremely efficient uh, and green place for people to live. And it's a first in so many ways. It's a North American first. It's the first residentially permitted 3D printed structure in Canada. And we're, we at NIDIS are just so thrilled that we got to play a small role in bringing this building out of the ground and making it something that is as livable, livable and functional as it is. It is a first in a lot of ways, but I know it is absolutely not going to be the last. When you see the success of a building like this, we know that this technology has such incredible promise. This was only chapter one in the NIDIS journey of trying to bring 3D construction printing to Canada. We're working on so many other incredible pro uh, projects, and I hope that you follow us along on all of them. Make sure you check us out on all our social platforms. Our handle is at NIDIS3D, and we've got a lot of cool stuff to show you. Thanks so much, and I can't wait to see you again on the next build. Let's relax for a bit. Put some property brothers in there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I could live here.